Hello and welcome to Core Basics Coding Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about task also known as generator or coroutine in Julia. Now without going into any formal definition of what task is, I am going to cover a Fibonacci series example and I'm going to demonstrate how using tasks can be beneficial. Now you probably know what Fibonacci series is. It's just a sequence of number and every number in the sequence is the sum of previous two numbers. So for example here, one is sum of zero and one. The next number is two, which is sum of one and one, three, which is sum of one and two, five, eight, and so on. Okay, so 13 is sum of five and eight. Now here, I'm going to write a function called fib and what I want this function to do is every time when I call this function it should return me the next number in the Fibonacci sequence. Now as you all know functions can either return one value or it can return an array of values but here I what I want to do is something special. Every time when I call the function it should give me the next number in the series which means it should remember the previous state it should somehow remember that and then every time it just gives me the next number so for this i will first initialize my first number which i'm going to call a and i will use the spatial function called produce now produce is a spatial function in julia what it does is it's similar to return but then at the same time, it will also re remember the state of the function. And we'll, we'll, you will learn more about it when we actually call this function. So the next number is b, and I'm going to say produce b. And then I'll write an infinite loop here because uh, Fibonacci sequence goes all the way up till infinity and here what I'm doing is in each iteration your a variable becomes B so this is this means a is B and your B is a plus B okay because B is sum of previous two numbers and whatever number I get in B I'm going to just produce that okay all right so I just defined my function now the next step is i should uh, create my task and i'm going to call this task a generator so the way you do that is you use keyword task in bracket function name so task here is going to generate a task or a generator from this function now this generator has an ability to generate a sequence so uh, i'm going to call that generator now and the way you consume that generator is by using this another spatial function call called consume so let's see what happens okay so when i call consume generator for the first time it generated number zero because it called this function and it produced a which was zero now in i'm in uh, my ipython uh, i julia box notebook so i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to just execute this one more time so if i click on this button or if i hit alter enter it's gonna execute that same line again so i'll hit alt enter again so what happened now is it called this one produce b so it produced number one so i'm going to call it one more time uh, now it produced one again when i call it once again it says two three five eight thirteen and so on so now it is producing the fibonacci sequence for me so as you saw, you can call consume on generator one by one and every time it gives you the next number in the Fibonacci sequence. Now, if you want to produce all those numbers in one shot, 
then you can write a for loop so i'm going to write a for loop here uh, so i will say for i in task fib so again this task fib is giving a gen uh, gener is generating a generator and you can run for loop on that generator so you can say okay print ln i and if you just continue running this for loop it's gonna go into infinite loop so you need to terminate some somewhere so i'll say okay if the number is greater than 13 break because i just want numbers until 13. okay so i'll say end here and end when i do that i get fibonacci numbers between 0 and 21 because okay so i moved my if statement above the println line and now it is uh, generating numbers until 13. okay now we looked at the function which didn't take any argument if you have a function which takes an argument then the alternate syntax would be uh, let me first delete this guy here so the alternate syntax of writing the same thing so i'm going to write write the same thing using a different syntax that allows you to pass arguments you will do something like this fib let's say i want to just print some message before writing a fibonacci series so here print ln msg i'm going to execute it again by hitting alter enter shortcut and let me just remove this and hit alter enter and now when you call consume generator see it's printing hello world so this is how you pass an argument to your generator function using at task uh, keyword okay so what's the benefit of doing uh, writing generator uh, when you write a generator, uh, it saves you a memory because every time it is returning only one value. If you write normal function, then you need to return an entire array. And that array might be very big, so it will consume a lot of memory. When you are dealing with uh, big data kind of problems, generators are pretty useful. Another advantage is you don't need to wait until the entire array is generated as soon as first element is generated the consumer or the caller can start calling it and it can start doing the processing so this this concept uh, of task or generator is pretty useful when you're working on producer consumer type of problems that was all about task and generators in julia thank you for watching